The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him as he drew near to the gate of the city. A man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her when the Lord saw her. He was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this, the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report from him is spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Twice I was given a chance to visit Nain, but we were not given a chance to celebrate the Eucharist in their chapel. Nain now is a Muslim village, but they kept the chapel being cared by a Muslim family. You can celebrate the Eucharist there, if you call them ahead of time because the the one holding the key should be informed ahead of time bakit hindi nila hindi nila sinira yung chapel because they know the story they know the story what is sorrow? What is sorrow? Sabi ng babae, pag ako ay naging artista, ang pangalan ko, sorrow. Sorrow. Sabi naman ng mister, pag ako ay naging artista, ano kaya ang pangalan ko? Sabi ng babae, alam ko na, ikaw ang dakos. Dakos. Sabi, ano dakos? Wala namang artistang dakos. Ako ang soro, ikaw ang dakos. Yun pala, dakos. Ano po? Dakos of my sorrow. Ano po? Tayo mga Pilipino, kung ano-ano na lang, di po ba? Ano? What is sorrow? The Tagalog word, of sorrow is dalamhati. Ang pagdadalamhati. Ano po? Hindi ka lang malungkot, ikaw ay nagdadalamhati. Mas malalim. There are three levels of joy. The first level of joy is when you laugh. The second level of joy is when you are contained in silence. You contained in silence. Masayang masaya ka. Hindi ka tumatawa, pero sabi nga, pag may nakakita sa'yo, sabi, ba't ang saya mo? Ramdam nila. You are so contained in silence, and yet you are so full of joy. But the highest level of joy is when you sing. When you sing. Pag yan daw ay kanta ng kanta, masaya yan. Ano po? Kahit hindi natatapos, kahit sira ang lyrics, kahit sintonado, masaya yan. Ano pa? 
but the same with sorrows. Three levels. The first level of sorrow is when you cry. When you cry. The second level of sorrows, you are, you are contained in silence. Kaya pag kayo ay nagpupunta sa mga lamay, ano po, mga sa lamay, pag nakakaiyak, nakakaiyak, ay alam mo, malungkot yan, nagdadalamhati yan, ano po. Pero may mga namatayan na tulala, tulala. Hindi nagsasalita, hindi nagkukwento, ano po, tahimik lang. Mas malalim ang kalungkutan niya. But the, the third level of sorrows is the same. When the person sing, pagpuno ng pagluha at mayroong pag-awit, yan ay punong-puno ng pagdadalamhati. Kaya nga po, kung inyo pong napapansin ito, if you read the book of Psalms, there are, these are compilation of two extremes. You read it, extreme joy and extreme pain. Kaya ang pinakamatandang tradisyon sa Biblia, sabi nila, ay ang mga, ang aklat ng mga awit. Kasi yan ang madaling ipasa, madaling ipasa, ano po? Napakadaling ipasa ng mga tula at awitin na punong-puno ng saya o kapighatian. Ano ang meron tayo sa araw na ito? Ano ang meron tayo sa araw na ito? First, the first reading reminds us of what? We are part of a body. Ang sakit ng kalingkingan, dama ng buong katawan. Being part of a body, we as a church, it's good to us ourselves. Do I find joy when the church celebrates? Do I find pain and sorrows when the church grieve? Or, dumaan ang anumang okasyon na hindi nyo lalaman at wala man lang kayong naramdaman. Magandang pagtuunan ng pansin yun. The first reading invites us of who we are, where we are, being part of the body. Ikaw ba'y masaya kung masaya ang simbahan, kung mayroong pagdiriwang ang simbahan? Ikaw ba'y malungkot o mayroong pagdadalamhati sa panahon ng kalungkutan? You know that the liturgy in the church are divided well. Ano po? There are ordinary days, there are days of penance, there are days of grieving, Lent, there are days of joys and solemnities. Naintindihan ko ba ito? Bahagi ba ako dito? O, nagsisimba ako, nagdadasal ako, na hindi ko man lamang nalaman kung ano ang merong pagdiriwang ang simbahan ngayon. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, the second point is perhaps, if you really understand your faith, and the deeper is your relationship with God, then you begin to understand also that you cannot spare yourselves from the pain and sorrows of God. Habang lumalapit ka sa Diyos, mas naintindihan mo ang dalamhati ng Diyos sa tuwing tumitingin ng Diyos sa mundong makasalanan. At maganda din tanong yon. Meron ka bang pagluha o kalungkutan sa gitna ng kawalan ng hostisya sa lipunan, sa karumal-dumal na nakawan, sa walang humpay na patayan, Pag nanakaw, magsabi kayo, ano ang iyong nararamdaman pag ito'y iyong nababalitaan? Kung ikaw ay walang pakialam, ngayon alam mo na na hindi ka talaga bahagi ng isang simbahan. Ikatlo, if you look at the gospel, you look at the gospel, Hopefully, you're able also to understand 
that God looks at us, looks at us, and He is not naive ano po, on how we feel with our sorrows. Merong isang kwento sa Santa Teresa ng Abila. Nang siya'y tinawag ng Diyos, pinaglakad siya ng malayo at sinabihan siya na itayo mo muli ang simbahan. Naglakad, ano po, at dumating siya sa lugar kung saan ang simbahan na kanya titirhan ay sirang kapilya. Punong-puno ng kalungkutan si Santa Teresa ng Abila. At nasabi niya sa kanyang panalangin, Bakit mo ako ginaganito? Bakit mo ako ginaganito? A, prayer, a prayerful person would experience that. Bakit mo ako ginaganito? At ang sabi ng Diyos sa kanya, yan ay halik ng aking mga pagmamahal. Halik ng aking pagmamahal. And Teresa of Abila said, Bakit ganito ang iyong pagmamahal? I do not know if she was joking about her response. She simply said to God, Bakit hindi mo halika ng aking mga kaaway? Kung ganito rin lang ang pagpapadama mo ng iyong pagmamahal. For us, perhaps, many of us will not understand that. But the deeper the relationship we have with anybody, with anyone, those who have a deep relationship with anyone, a mother can understand this. A mother can understand this. Na kung saan pag ang kanyang anak ay punong-puno ng kalungkutan, kahit ito ay nasa malayong lugar, nararamdaman ito ng ina. Nararamdaman ito ng ina. At ang pag-aalala ng anak ay kahit kailan, hindi may tatanggi ng isang ina na siya'y nag-aalala din. Sa lalim ng relasyon ng Diyos at ang kanyang mananampalataya, ganun din. Ang Diyos, ramdam niya ang namimighating ina sa kawalan ng kanyang anak. To be a widow is a great loss. But if you have a son, well, you can, you can still be a little confident. Why? You know that the culture doesn't include women. You are not counted in the society. Kaya pag ikaw ay naging balo, ganun na lang ang iyong hinagpis. Ganun na lang ang iyong kapighatian. Ngayon, namatay ang kapan ng, ng anak na lalaki. Ano na lang ang matitira sa iyo? Ramdam ng Diyos yan. Ngayon, ano po ang challenge? Ano po ang challenge? Sa panahon na ito ng pandemic, many of you have lost anything, something that caused a deep sorrow in you. And today's celebration is a very reassuring celebration that you are not alone. That you are not alone kung saan ramdam ng Diyos ang iyong pagdadalamhati. Marahil pagkamisan, kailangan mo lang iluha ang mga ito. Minsan, kailangan mo lang iluha. Or minsan, kailangan mo lang itahimik. At kung ikaw ay punong-puno ng kabighatian, ng pagdadalamhati, bakit hindi mo subukang umawit sa Diyos. If you remember the Magnificat of Mary, it is an expression of extreme joy. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, it does not make us less human if we can embrace our own sorrows. It is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign how deep we are with our humanity. 
you can cry, you can be silent, or you can sing before God. As St. Augustine have said, you pray twice when you express your prayer in a manner of song. Amen. Please rise. It is not a sign of weakness when you cry. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, maybe some of you experience this watching a cartoon movies sometimes move you to tears. Nanonood ka na ng cartoon na luha ka pa. Not because of what you see, but you're able to empathize what is happening. And this is the grace we would like to ask from the Lord today. That I continue to be part of His body. Not only physically, but hopefully emotionally. Kaya nga tanong, lumuluha ka ba sa pagluha ng simbahan? Tumatawa ka ba sa pagtawa? na simbahan. Second, as we come closer to God, the more we can, pay, we can feel His sorrows. And hopefully you're able to understand more why or how Mary have felt during those times. Third, when people are in sorrows, they don't need your logic. They don't need your advice. They simply need your presence. But please, shut up. When people are in sorrows, they don't need your logic. They don't need your advice. They simply need your presence. But please, shut up. The Lord be with you. And be your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.